Welcome to the Chavi Gardener. Today we're going to tidy up our Phalaenopsis. So here we've got a Phalaenopsis, two stem. Uh, I think it cost about £14, so it wasn't a cheap one. You can usually pick them up a lot cheaper than that. So we just need to tidy the plant up. So we need to trace the old flower stem. So here we are. It's got one flower left on it, but I think we'll sacrifice that. And we're just taking all these old flower nodes all the way back, counting to the last flower node, which was there. That's where the last flower existed, or the very first flower in this instance. And just take it back one, two nodes, and just cut to an outward facing bud. Nice clean cut. There we are. And the same applies with this one. So if we come up a little bit closer. So that was the first flower that was spent. We're going one, two buds back above the leaf node and at an angle and a nice clean cut. And there we are. Now you could reduce that further, uh, but I wouldn't recommend that um, as you'll have no stem for it to reshoot from. Uh, the plants are epitithic, meaning that they get their moisture and nutrients from the surrounding area, which is why they're planted into bark. The, uh, the roots of these do like the light, so don't be uh, too quick to put pot covers over them. They do like, uh, they do like to look out their little uh, pots. And um, some people recommend moving them to a window where it's slightly cooler, or, um, and then moving them back into the warmth so you can kind of restart the, uh, the growing process. It kind of shocks them into flowering again, but I find is, as long as they're happy where they are and they've flowered for a long time, then just keep them where they are. You don't need them to be flowering all the time. Just continue to water them, keep that bark fairly moist, not damp. Uh, you don't want it sat in water because that's certainly not, uh, not a good thing. And any of these aerial roots that protrude over the, uh, over the pot, just allow those to do their thing. I don't know what that was, I think that was a bit of bark, so that wasn't a root that I pulled off there. But uh, yeah, this is a very healthy plant, nice leaves. If you can occasionally give them a dusting, that will certainly help. Because if your house is anything like mine, it gets quite dusty. The joys of an open fire. But uh, there we are. A bit of TLC and that's ready to go. I uh, wouldn't be surprised if that shoots, shoots back fairly soon.